hello this is Frida welcome to my channel I'm here again because I received Svetlana's package this one took almost a month uh, actually she shipped it on the 13th of uh, November not a month but just a couple of weeks and uh, I received it regular post so I did not pay custom fee I'm so super happy about it so let's uh, I hope everyone's doing well and uh, I'm going to open it in front of you and let's see what's inside I did make another order yes I did 15 kilogram from Switlana I will put her link below she is super nice super fast great communications I would highly recommend her I think this is my fifth time well this is the fourth I believe fourth or fifth stop counting because she has gorgeous quality yarn so let's open it and see what's inside okay I'm going to open the package gently because there's yarn in it Got what I bought. Can't remember. I have to go and check the pictures because it's been a couple of months, right? You forget what you eat yet. You ate yet last. Oh wow! Nice. Okay. The reason I bought this yarn, can you see it? It's 100% cotton. I want to make a bathroom robe for myself. You know, when you uh, take a shower, you put a towel. That's what I'm going to make, but it's going to be a robe. Because I'm having a hard time finding the size that I need. Oh my goodness. Okay, I bought five kilogram of this gazelle. It's merino blend. Oh, it's super soft. I bought these last time. She couldn't fit into the box, so she fit didn't fit in the rest. I think there was about 300 gram. And I bought gray. Isn't this nice? That's all I bought. So only, yeah, but because of the quantity is too much, right? So this is about five kilogram of this. And I can't remember about this. I know this was supposed to be 300 gram. Yeah, see, I'm planning to make something with these two colors. See how it looks like. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I have enough of this yarn to make a robe for myself. I'm going to knit it from top down and make a hoodie. And I might do the tutorial, but uh, I need to add some yarn in this. Maybe make it two-ply so it can give that fluffiness. You know, it would uh, take, uh, absorb the water. Just wanted to show you this yarn how closely it's about a four ply and uh, these are sold online as well for f about 50 gram either you can find them on uh, ice yarn or hobium.com or any other uh, links they just changed the label but it's this yarn and it's merino uh, blend uh, acrylic polyamide that makes a softness so I already bought this before and uh, I want to make something with this these two colors 
and uh, I will put the tutorial when I decide when to make it. I'm just trying to finish my whips. I've been working on a couple of whips <laughs> these days, uh, and I do have tutorials coming on. So uh, this, this yarn is so soft. Yeah, and then this uh, cotton uh, eyelash, see, it's cotton and it will absorb water. So I thought to myself, this would be perfect for uh, for me to knit myself a bathroom robe, you know, when you just put it on and it will absorb, uh, absorb the water. Well, there was not uh, much to show. It's only this. This. Oh, this looks nice together, doesn't it? But this yarn is... I'm planning to make a coat with this, so stay tuned. Uh, I believe it's going to be a crochet uh, coat, but I'm not quite sure. It's just uh, because it's a four weight, and uh, I, I don't know how it will look like on a coat. I don't like bulky stuff we'll see I will try and if it does I will make the princess coat and uh, this one that's all I bought I bought these three but there's big quantity right this is five kilogram it's over 10 pounds uh, I'm not quite I think this is about three kilogram you know it adds up and uh, I think this was uh, over a, uh, over a, uh, I already have that here, over, over a, uh, I'm not quite sure, I have to go back and check my, uh, but total, it's, uh, it's 10, uh, 10 kilogram of yarn I bought, but mostly 5 uh, kilogram is this, just gorgeous. I need uh, lots of yarn, because you know, you don't know what you would need more, or if you don't have enough. And it's really hard, especially if you're living far away from like Canada and uh, can't find it anymore. So uh, this is very nice too. And these are, yarns were from my um, previous order that I did the yarn unboxing. So uh, this is from that. Very nice. So uh, yeah, a total of three a different yarn I have purchased. This was the yarn I bought from previous, so uh, it's just a leftover. I couldn't, she couldn't fit in because it was uh, too much. It was too heavy, and when your uh, box is too heavy, it costs more money, right? Well, again, if you if you're paying, let's say, two, I paid three hundred for this uh, uh, yarn, just under three hundred Canadian, and half was yarn and half was the uh, Canada post fee so uh, 300 150 yarn and 150 for the shipping yeah unfortunately shipping is very expensive and if you go with DHL you end up paying custom fee on top of it and plus the shipping fee is more expensive <laughs> so uh, I would rather go with regular P uh, regular post uh, Canada post delivered just to my door and I just love it love it love it just wanted to share I do have three more boxes coming 15 kilogram 15 kilogram and 10 kilogram so stay tuned for those I went over budget this I don't know why I haven't bought so many yarn as I have bought maybe preparing myself for the lockdown <laughs> I already have lots of yarn okay for my finished projects uh, remember I showed this uh, uh, I showed this see I just love the style of this hat okay and uh, I'm going to take it off because I'm gonna put this on I made myself a cowl but the cowl if you look at it I started just around my head so it can go down and I kept on changing I started with the 4.3 crochet hook and I kept on changing, kept on changing until I went up to five point, um, five point five millimeter crochet hook. So this is like you can see it's wider compared to the beginning. 
So this is how I'm going to wear it. See? It's long and it's going to cover myself. I haven't worn it outside yet. perfect for the Canadian weather and because of the COVID what you're going to do is you're going to pull this up but only I, I will wear this when I'm walking because people for some reason people walk so close to me and then they look at my face like what's going on I don't wear a mask when I'm walking right so this will at least uh, you know protect me a little bit but when I go indoors I will put my medical uh, mask no problem I always do that like it's there's no getting away with this that but uh, when I'm walking this is what I'm gonna do <laughs> see okay this is um velvet i believe i don't know i bought these uh, yarn years ago this this yarn was in my stash it's not velvet it was um but super soft i think i bought it at walmart they had uh, bags can't remember anyways and uh, what i noticed is uh, it's it's not like wool they don't have it's there's no wool in it so if you're living in Canada, you need some uh, some percentage of wool so it can protect you, you know, co cover your head. So I am planning to go through my stash and uh, make something out of uh, wool blend or anything super wash. This is crochet, just to point it. This took me days because I went with single crochet brim round and around. I do have a tutorial if you're going to check my... Um, I think I did a rug tutorial. Yeah, it's the same method I did. I, I crocheted from the back loop, not the back loop, not the two, but behind. There's like a pearl, like a pearl, like a um, rice stitch between. You go in between to create this, this uh, uh, stitch. It's, it's crocheted around and around and I don't chain or anything. And it looks nice. See how it looks, the texture. Gives you that line. So I finished this. <laughs> took, because I used a uh, single crochet takes time, right? Even a uh, crochet takes uh, a crochet takes fa uh, crochet faster than knitting, but still. Okay, I have started my first uh, scarf for the homeless for 2021, and I've been knitting this off, and this is the stitch. I did a tutorial, so you can go and check it. It looks fantastic. I just look, I just love how, uh, how it looks like. Is this the back? No, this is the front. Yeah, so uh, I'm just trying to finish the yarn from my stash, and uh, it's just over four feet, so I just have a little bit of yarn left. <laughs> as soon as I finish this, I'm going to do a couple of tutorials I have been gathered and uh, working on, so stay tuned for those. So I hope you like my uh, yarn unboxing, and uh, stay home, stay safe. I hope everyone uh, is safe. I don't know it's I haven't been gone out I just went for I just go for a walk and then come home I try not to interact with people because um, there's 8,000 8, almost 9,000 people who are affected in Edmonton it's just the Edmonton city of Edmonton where we live and it scares us yeah so take care, happy knitting, happy crocheting, and uh, we'll see you, I'll see you back on another tutorial, and uh, I will uh, make a yarn unboxing when my other uh, orders come as soon as possible. I'm waiting one, one just uh, went, uh, one is at the customs in Montreal. I think it, it takes five days, because this took five days. It was in Canada on uh, December 1st, and uh, they released it and it was delivered today. Yeah, I think 29, five days. 
approximately so I'm waiting for that other package Ta uh, 10 kilogram of yarn I bought the same yarn and I will do unboxing for that happy knitting happy crocheting if, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy knitting happy crocheting